Recently, I've been trying to get into better shape, but I have one major problem. I love McDonald's. So in this video, I wanted to see if I could make a data science project that would help me find the healthiest food I possibly can at McDonald's and help me reach my nutritional goals. I want to eat the least amount of calories possible while still hitting my macronutrient goals. So to solve this problem, we're going to use a mathematical technique called linear optimization. It's basically used to find the best possible outcomes for these types of problems. And in this case, we're trying to find the optimal food combination. These linear optimizations or linear problems are usually set up like this. There's something that you're trying to minimize or maximize, whether that's profit. In this case, it is minimizing calories. And there's a series of limitations or constraints that don't allow you to do that optimally. And you have to stay within inside of those constraints. For example, in this case, we have to stay within our protein bounds of 45 and 65 grams of protein. We can't hit a certain level of sugar and a couple other nutrient constraints. Using linear algebra, we can set up a mathematical model for this situation and use math to find the optimal outcome staying within the constraints that we give this problem. So I already know what I want to minimize. I want to minimize calories and the different constraints I'll be looking at in this particular exercise are the fat, the saturated fat, the sugar, the protein, the carbohydrates, and the sodium. So we'll have limits for all of those. Here are the limits that I've chosen kind of arbitrarily right here. Now these aren't necessarily arbitrarily, they're taken from the government's websites and their suggestions, but you know, mix and match for your own diet and your own lifestyle. Next, we need data. And before I show you where I got this awesome data set, I wanna tell you this project was actually taken from my friend Kyle Pastor, who wrote a great Medium article about this project. I included this project inside of my course as a really good example of the creativity and the thoroughness of what a project can actually look like. If you want all the resources that I use to make these 30 data science projects in 30 days, you can check out my course, Data Science Project Studio, which is the best way to build your data science project and portfolios. I also have a link to Kyle's Medium article below in the description. So here's the data set for the nutritional facts for McDonald's menu. It is just on Kaggle. We can go through, see all the different columns. And basically what it is, is every item that they have on their menu and the serving size, the calories, total fat, saturated fat, cholesterol, all the nutritional values that you might need to know are in here. So go ahead and hit download so you have that as a CSV. Now, I not only wanted to give the option to find the healthiest food, I wanted to give you guys the option to find the healthiest food with your different macronutrients and what you're trying to do in your life. So I didn't wanna keep this on my own machine and only make it my constraints. I wanted to open this up to the web and turn this into a product. And so I used Streamlit to create this awesome dashboard tool that basically allows you to input your different constraints and it'll tell you what the McHealthy combo is best for you. Now the code to write this is a little bit complicated. It took me about 150 lines of code to create this Streamlit app that does the McHealthy combo optimization. But basically here's what you need to know. I'm using a library called Pulp, P-U-L-P. That is a linear program Python library that lets you set up these types of linear optimization problems. This section of the code right here is where I set up that linear problem inside of Pulp in Python. You can pause the video, kind of read through what I did. It is a little too much complicated to explain right now in this short video. A good chunk of the rest of the code is actually just building the Streamlit app, which is really easy to build. It's just a couple lines to basically take in the sidebar to have the head at the top and to display the graph kind of on the bottom right hand side and here is the app you can go to this URL right here to try it out for yourself but you can see that the optimal McHealthy combo for me personally is two apple slices packages five side salads five fruit and maple oatmeal with brown sugar and two large diet dr. peppers if I ate that for the whole day, that would be a total of 1370 calories. And that is how I can hit my macronutrient goals in the least amount of calories, the healthiest way by going to McDonald's for all three meals. So I'm kind of hungry. Let's go test this out. Hi, yeah, I was doing some research on what the healthiest stuff here is. So I was wondering if I could have, do you guys have a side salad? Can I have uh, an oatmeal then? Uh, do you guys have apples? Okay, I'll have the thing of apples as well as a large... No, we'll just make it a small diet coke. Thank you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. This was day 28 of building 30 Day Science Projects in 30 Days. And I have all of the code available for free for you guys in the description down below. There'll be a link that says resources. Just click there. Not bad. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can see more projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.